Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download your application from Ecosystem Machine Expert Basic to the physical M221 using a SD card. So let's go to the presentation. So the easiest way to download the program will be connect your laptop to the controller via Ethernet or via USB cable and download it. But in case you want to have the application in one SD, in one SD card, so you can download it to multiple um, M221s, probably the SD is the best solution. In this case, there are different ways to do it. So you can clone from one original M221 and then don't, um, download with that clone SD card in different PLCs. Or what you can do is to create the image of the firmware plus the program. Of the, of the application that you have in the Machine Expert Basic and then download to the controller, okay? So basically what you need to do is to go to the commissioning, select the memory management, create the controller image, specify the path that you want to download this image of the controller that can include the program, optional the firmware, okay? And finally create the image for the controller. So let's try to do this in our side. And this is the step that we need to follow in order to make it work. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to check that this is working, okay, I have this application, okay. Let me just open a new one where I can show you an empty application. Just hold on a minute. Okay, this is the empty application, almost empty. Okay, what I'm going to do is to download this application directly to the controller, just to show you that this is the controller, okay? Just to show you that I'm going to download a new application. So connect to the controller. This one has uh, some power protected. Just put this over here. I believe it's this one is the password. Perfect. I'm going to download this new application. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to play the controller. Okay, so the controller now has this empty application. I'm going to disconnect. Okay, what I want to try to do now is to download this application into the controller by memory management, create controller image, PC, select the folder, okay, that the folder will be the SD card that I have over here. Remember always to format FAT32 Okay, close. So I'm going to only include the program, okay? In your case, if you want to create multiple application, I will select the include firmware, but in our case, I'm going to select only the program. We need to create a controller image over here. And then this is the message, uh, the program success, close. If we go here, the SD card, we can see here in the script. Okay. We have this option, which is the command is to user, go to the user and download the application. And the application should be the SMBK application. Okay. Just fine. So now that we have the SD card with information that we want, of our application, this is what we need to do. So we have already completed these four steps. Okay, I have just removed the SD card. Now we need to remove the power supply of the controller. Okay, you can see they are now the LEDs are gone. Now I'm going to connect the SD card with the application over here. 
SD card already in. What we need to do now is to power on the controller. Okay. Here next to the red LED, you can see the SD card over there that now it has off. So it has finished. So what we need to do now is to remove the SD card. And now we need to check what is the message that we have inside. So I'm going to connect the SD card. Here, script log. So here it means that it has started the download, start the script, download, and it has returned OK, which is good, and the script has ended. So it looks like that the program has already been deployed into the controller, okay, successfully. So we can go to our program, connect, log in to the PLC. Login to the PLC. Okay. Let me just have a check if it's something missing. Or I just remove the cable. Yes. I have I think I have disconnect the cable. You can see here if I'm going to pick the controller. Two to one. You can see that the cable has been disconnected over here. There is no LEDs. Or nothing at all. Okay, I'm going to put it again. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh, da, da, da. Let me just double check what I have done wrong here. That I don't have the connection to the controller. Ah, there we go. Now we have the connection. There are some LEDs now working. Okay. Okay, there we go. We have the connection now with the controller. It was my fault. So now we should be able to connect to the controller. Okay. Start controller. As you can see, there is no need to download anything because we have already connected and everything is fine. Okay. So this is how you can connect to the controller. Okay. And make the upload. In here, you can see over here that if you want to upload the controller using the SD card, you can do it. It's the same step, but instead of using the command download, you can use the upload. So you can upload only the program of the controller. Okay, and this should be the message that you have received or you should receive in case you want to do this. Upload, which is the project. Okay, and return OK if everything is fine. So what you need to do now is to try to create an empty application, download it to the controller, then try to use the SD card in order to download your real application just so you can see the steps, okay, and how to do it, and then check the script log of the SD card in order then to see the real step and all the process has been done perfectly. So we have seen in this video how you can perform a download via SD card or the controller. You can use the commissioning tab to create the, the application. And also you can include the firmware. So in case you have a new PLC and you need a specific firmware, just use the SD card with the program and the firmware to download it. So this is it regarding the download via SD card.
So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.